Okay, I got him. Yes. Missing one, Latina. Shot for me! Perfect! Yes! Hey guys, Ryan here from Rode, and in this video, I'll be talking about something that has been generating a lot of comments and interest online. Something that you might have already seen if you've been following the release of the new Rodecaster Pro podcasting studio. That's right, it's time for us to talk about the Rode PodMic. The Rode PodMic is a dynamic microphone tuned specifically for speech and broadcast applications. Now in the typical broadcast application, you might have a perfectly tuned acoustic room where you don't have any noise intrusion from outside and you've got minimal reverberation inside the space. But as we all know, for the typical podcasting application, usually the acoustics of the room are less than perfect, and that is where the pod mic comes in. Being a dynamic microphone, the pod mic doesn't pick up as much of the extraneous noise and reverberation within your room, making it perfect for podcasting applications. The pod mic features an all metal construction with a ceramic finish made right here in Australia so that you can be assured that your pod mic will be looking and sounding just as great in 10 years time as it does today. The dual layer mesh with internal pop shielding keeps control of plosives and sibilance when you're talking nice and close to the microphone. The pod mic features an integrated swing arm that is internally suspended at each of the different contact points for the microphone. The capsule itself is also suspension mounted, meaning that any bumps or knocks on the table that you're using for your podcast or even to the stand directly won't make it through to the microphone capsule, which would potentially ruin your audio with a bunch of low frequency noise. Adjusting the microphone is really easy. You simply loosen the lock nuts and you can swing the microphone in either direction. In this application, I have the microphone mounted on the DS1, so I've got the microphone in this position. But if you wanted to mount the microphone on the Rode PSA1 studio arm, you can just as easily flip the microphone upside down to have the microphone in the perfect position every time. Now, most important of all is the sound quality of the pod mic. The pod mic has been designed specifically with speech applications in mind, delivering a rich, warm and crisp tone. When you pair the pod mic up with the new Rodecaster Pro podcasting studio, you'll be sounding just like they do on the radio in minutes. Happy podcasting. Hi, this is Hillary from Blue, and let's check out Snowball Ice. Snowball Ice is a plug and play USB microphone for recording everything from instruments to vocals to podcasts, live streaming, or even dictation. As a plug and play USB microphone, Snowball Ice connects directly to the USB port on your laptop or desktop computer, and without having to download any other drivers or software, will work with your favorite recording program. Snowball Ice features a condenser mic capsule. A condenser capsule delivers the rich, detailed audio you typically find in studio recordings. Snowball Ice has also been tested by engineers and awarded Skype certification for the ultimate clarity on your Skype calls. Snowball Ice also records directly in front or in cardioid for single source or single person recordings. Snowball Ice comes with an adjustable desktop stand, but also has a standard thread on the bottom for mounting to a traditional mic stand. Hi, this is Hillary from Blue, and let's check out Yeti. Yeti is a multi-pattern USB microphone. As a plug and play USB microphone, it connects directly to the USB port on your laptop or desktop computer, and without having to download any other software, will work with your favorite recording program, whether you're recording to GarageBand or Audacity, podcasting, dictation, or even Skype. Yeti features three condenser capsules. A condenser capsule delivers that rich, detailed audio you typically find in studio recordings. As a multi-pattern microphone, Yeti offers four polar pattern options or directions in which the mic will pick up sound. Yeti will record in cardioid, which is directionally to the front, great for instruments or single person podcasts. Yeti will also record in omnidirectional, which is 360 degrees around the mic, 
This is great for band practice, a chorus, or multi-person podcast. Yeti will also record in stereo, which is right and left. This is great for instrument recording to get your right and left separation, or for voice and vocals, it gives you an open, natural room sound. And last, Yeti will record in figure of eight or bi-directional, which just means front and back. This is great for duets or interviews. Yeti features some studio controls directly on the mic. On the back above your polar pattern selection, you have analog gain control, which allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the microphone. You can also plug headphones directly into Yeti for zero latency direct monitoring, which is great for multi-tracking or just being able to hear exactly what you're recording without any echo or delay. Yeti features headphone volume on the front as well as a mute button in case you have to sneeze in the middle of a podcast. Yeti comes with this desktop stand, but also has a standard thread for connecting to a traditional mic stand or the Radius, which is Yeti's custom shock mount sold separately.